Well, there's no doubt about it. Travel is back in full swing, kind of post pandemic. Right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, for the July 4th weekend, about 1.6 million travelers are expected to pass through just Chicago's airports. CBS 2's Marissa Parra live at O'Hare, which will soon, I'm sure, Marissa, be packed with passengers for this weekend. Ryan Adrena, good morning. Yeah, 1.6 million travelers. That would make this the busiest travel weekend we have seen since the start of the pandemic. Now we know that the return to travel season hasn't been smooth sailing or smooth flying since the pandemic. We've done stories on canceled flights due to staffing issues. So ahead of this busy weekend, Delta Airlines is giving passengers the chance to rebook their passengers to rebook their flights without any fees. Passengers flying through the July 4th holiday holiday qualify for the rebook waiver. This comes as airlines try to restaff after downsizing during the pandemic, which we've talked about has been a huge part of flight delays and cancellations. But say you're not taking Delta. You want to change your flight. You're worried about it getting canceled. Sign up for those email alerts from your airline if you haven't already. FlightAware is another great resource to stay on top of your flight status. That way you can act fast and either ask for a refund or maybe even a hotel room should a delay or cancellation happen to you. And by the way, when we talk about that 1.6 million traveler number that's projected for this weekend, well, when you compare that number to this time last year, that would be a 17% jump at O'Hare and 37% jump over at Midway. So remember, just pack a lot of patience, as Ryan said about half an hour ago. Allow a little extra time to save you some headaches here. Reporting live from O'Hare, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Definitely good to keep in mind, Marissa.